Senator Gould, the Trudeau government used to assure us that the Senate appointment system was very independent and nonpartisan. They'd say, Prime Minister Trudeau doesn't appoint all the panelists because each province picks its own two panelists to sit on each regional Senate appointment panel. Well, the Trudeau government no longer trumpets this. Many of the provinces have declined to participate in this smokescreen appointment process. And in those cases, that means Prime Minister Trudeau appoints all their Senate appointment panelists, who then give him secret non-binding lists so that the Prime Minister picks all the senators. Independent and nonpartisan, indeed. We know the Saskatchewan government doesn't pick their panelists. Same with the previous Manitoba and BC governments. With a big batch of senators soon to be named, it's important that the Canadian public can evaluate how independent and nonpartisan the Trudeau Senate appointment process really is. So my question, Senator Gold, for which provinces has the Trudeau PMO appointed all the Senate appointment panelists? Senator Gold. <coughs> Senator, I, I, I don't know that there is an answer to your question because there's so much embedded in your question uh, that uh, uh, is uh, f uh, uh, frankly uh, disturbing. The process of appointing senators, which was put into place by this government, has produced an impressive uh, uh, group of senators sitting in this chamber or on the screen. And uh, uh, I'm sure that your question did not uh, imply uh, otherwise. Uh, Provinces uh, have the responsibility and the privilege of naming uh, Senate, uh, members of those panels. Uh, th some have lagged behind for reasons which uh, I do not know. Uh, this has slowed down the process of appointments uh, to the regret of the government. I have no information whatsoever, Senator to the effect uh, that the uh, Prime Minister or the PMO has engaged in an inappropriate way in the selection of the panels. Any suggestion uh, otherwise is something that I simply cannot respond to further. Senator Batter, supplementary. My first question was which provinces, so perhaps you could inquire about that, Senator Gould. Now, this, the Independent Advisory Board for Senate Appointments is supposed to file a report within three months after an appointment cycle. They haven't filed a report for two and a half years. Twelve senators have been appointed since then, and a big new bunch is apparently coming soon. Yet the Canadian public has no transparency on this so-called independent, nonpartisan process. One thing we do know is this bit of smoke and mirrors is very expensive. The reports indicate about $500,000 every appointment cycle. Former Trudeau Foundation mentor, now chair of the independent Senate appointment panel, Huguette LaBelle, is paid up to a $650 per diem for this position. Senator Gold, given this hefty government stipend, why isn't the chair producing reports to provide taxpayers with this accountability more frequently than once every two and a half years? Senator Gold. <clears throat> with the admonitions of our uh, esteemed Senator Munson in mind, I'll simply respond uh, as follows. I will make inquiries as to the delay in, in the uh, uh, filing of the reports. The government has every confidence in the officials, including uh, Madame uh, uh, LaBelle, uh, who are doing work on behalf of the Canadians and on behalf of a more uh, independent and less partisan and more diverse Senate.